One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, guys? It's Harry Haas here. And today I'm going to be just going over um, some recent trades as kind of like a recap. First of all, this isn't investment advice, even if it if, even if it seems like it, you know. But without further ado, I'm just going to kind of dive right into it. So um, this one is uh, IGC. It's a trade that I made today. Um, and I'm just kind of going to kind of go over my thought process, what I what I saw, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like. And I'm just going to kind of start start to finish. So this morning, IGC, I guess I didn't include it. I, I thought that I did for some reason, but I guess not. So this morning, IGC kind of, you know, uh, it was already up pre-market. It faded down. And it just kind of was, uh, you know, almost like just sitting here pretty much stagnant, just kind of moving around, pretty tight range, you know, not a lot of people long were interested in it. Um, there was uh, BOXL, Boxel was running as well. So we did have a lot of kind of, you know, thought process coming into it. Um, you know, or we didn't have a like, I didn't really have a plan on this one. I, I didn't really like it. I was like, nah, I'm not going to touch it. You know, um, I expected this to kind of fade today because it's a little bit of a higher float stock. It's a cheaper stock. Um, and in the morning, I found it, you know, a little bit weird how in the morning the boros were actually six, seven cents a share on it, um, you know, which which isn't a, a great price for a lower price stock. So we're, you know, we have a, a pretty, pretty high boro on it, you know. I'm pretty sure at times it was like almost like 10 cents or something like that. You know, it was six when I checked it, it was going up. So, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it alone. The reason why I did that is because I also noticed that the boros were, I don't know if I if I said this already, but the boros ended up being two cents. So they ended up getting a little bit cheaper. And what what I, I kind of liked this grinding action. I liked the way it was grinding higher. It started doing, you know, obviously the volume started picking up. We started grinding higher. Um, you know, everyone who's short uh, is now trapped. Everyone who's kind of... Um, who you know who's short but also I, I you know I like the grind up I like the you know the way I was moving I you know started doing some good volume so I took some and then we ended up squeezing up and during these halts I'm pretty sure this is either just you know shorts covering and longs chasing but by the time we got to two I saw the kind of two rejection and I was like oh I don't want to be trapped in a halt down so I just you know sold at 1.9 you know basically just took it um and then it just kind of kept going down and, and that was great. But in a, in a play like this, I really liked the grind up. I really liked that we started doing some volume. Even though it was a dollar stock, um, this is a play that, um, you know, it doesn't happen often. Obviously, I wasn't expecting, like, I was just expecting, okay, maybe we could get to, you know, three or maybe we could get to 1.5. But I, I was expecting a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a spike. But when we started really, really going and we started, you know, getting up here and just halt, 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 um, yeah, it was uh, pretty nuts. I didn't really expect to trade from 117 to 190, but, I mean, that was just what happened, I guess. And, you know, um, sometimes you're obviously going to going to get these kind of bigger home run trades when, when you have a good entry. And, you know, obviously I'm not going to enter down here because that kind of feels a little bit too hero-ish to me, if that makes any sense. Like... Um, you know, like I was letting it grind up. I was letting it show me that it wanted to go higher. You know, a lot of short sellers, I think were fighting it and, and really hoping that this would kind of fade and it, it, and it would give them a nice dump. But we just started doing so much volume, started going higher that, you know, when we ended up, you know, getting up here and halting and halting and halting, it ended up being pretty nice. Um, basically I said, I wouldn't be surprised if that 750 stuff was a way to lure shorts in. They may squeeze to eight. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just said like, listen, I wouldn't be surprised with that 750 stuff. So this was at 829 because I'm actually an hour ahead of market time. So uh, just to just to kind of let you know that I I just I said that in the chat because I want to get back to that later. Um, so I just want to just want to kind of you know let you guys kind of remember that. So anyway, um, so this stock uh, we start to get going here, and. And, you know, we, we get this kind of volume in the morning. Um, and these, these pre-market mornings have been pretty slow. 
you know, they have been pretty, pretty slow this week. And so we started doing this, and I noticed that we were doing a lot, a lot of volume. We're doing a lot of churning. Um, so I actually took kind of a starter here on VWAP and immediately right in the money. On these pre-market ones, if you're not in the money right away, if you're not in the money right away and you feel like you're kind of fighting it or like you're trying to get past, you know, $6 and it just won't and won't and won't and won't and won't, and you're giving it enough time, giving it enough time, being patient with it, but it's still not going, probably not going to go. But on something like this, I just kind of like the pullback in towards VWAP. I also like the way it was kind of holding down here. And so, yeah, that's that's literally the reason why I took some because we were doing, you know, so much volume. Um, everyone was longing it. It was also an easy to borrow ticker. So there are probably people who were kind of already getting short here, expecting kind of an all day fade because that was kind of the pattern. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. We lingered around in this area. We lingered around here. It was, it was kind of, so I just took some at uh, uh, 695 and around here. And I said, all right, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna risk low day. Same with this. I was just risking like a little bit underneath view at. Um, and, um, and then we started moving higher. Um, I knew a lot of people were, were shorting down here. I knew that probably a lot of people were afraid because we have done so, so much, like such a big move, I knew. But what I, what I thought was that a lot, that would trap a lot of people because a lot of people saw this fade and they were thinking, wow, this is just another fader. It's definitely gonna fade. It's not gonna, it's not gonna trap me. I'm, I'm a short seller, I can short. Finally got below VWAP, so I knew that a lot of short sellers would be interested, but then it creeps back up. And if you're trapped short from here, you're either going to cover here or you're definitely covering in here or maybe you're covering up here if you're really stuck but this type of the way it the way the way this move kind of happened and the way it couldn't break down any further I said no um you know I'm not I'm uh, you know I'm not thinking that this is done yet like I think that this still has room to go I think it still can go more you know we're doing a ton of volume we're you know so I was saying to myself yeah I do I do like this a lot you know that everyone who shorted in here is now trapped. And so it ended up going higher, squeezing higher. And I wanted to just wait for, um, you know, the Robin Hood traders to get in here. I wanted to wait for some people who like to buy after nine to get in here. Um, it ended up going higher. We ended up kind of stuffing up here in this 950 area. And I ended up taking it off at 826, which it is kind of like, it's a bad fill for me, in my opinion. I, uh, you know, I, I should have kind of waited a little bit longer, but I just said, you know what, I'm exhausted. Like I was mentally exhausted from these two trades because, you know, it's you got to you got to be watching. You got to be saying, OK, um, and when you're you know, when you're long and, you know, you're seeing eight kind of stuff, but you just want to give it a little little bit more time to make an extra, you know, a little bit more. Um, you know, the reason for this hold, like I, I could have easily just taken it off into strength, but I wanted to see, you know, I thought it had legs to go a little bit higher, a little bit higher. So I just wanted to see here if we had it ended up going lower, let's say we just got a dump candle right through here, probably just would have cut it. But, you know, I'll take that, you know, I'll, I'll take that any day. And we ended up going lower. A lot of longs who were long up here ended up getting trapped. That's why these pops were so great. That's why that was such an A plus setup for Alex, because so many longs were trapped up here. And we pop up, we just fail, 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 and we ended up going a lot lower. So that was super nice. We had a ton of supply from, from longs who were trapped up here, plus whatever you know dilution or anything else they had. So yeah, that was a, a nice one for me. But here, I just kind of saw it creep up a little bit. You know, I saw it had faded off pre-market, and we were doing some volume. It was phase three news. Anytime phase three or approval or stuff like that, longs seemed to like it. So we started kind of grinding up, and then we ended up going higher up to... Uh, 16 I took it off the reason why I went long is because I just I love this kind of creep action right back up to view app it's just telling me that you know what I'm not done yet don't count me out Harry you know I'm not a fader I'm not like the rest of them so you know I said okay and it ended up going higher over here just kind of left it alone 
And then I, you know, we started kind of getting this grind higher. I love this type of action. When we try to go lower one, two, three, four, five, six times, and it's not going any lower. And I love this type of action as well. You can't really see it, but when we get this green candle, we get this reject and we still don't break down. Just it, especially the same type of here where we got that big kind of stuff. We got the reject and we're not really breaking down. I love that. That tells me that, you know, that's definitely something that, that I'll always keep an eye on. And we ended up going higher and, you know, it was a perfect play. So uh, CNDT, I kind of did a mixture of like trader view plus this because it was easy to clip through my trader view just to see what I liked. Um, this one, again, was one that kind of faded in pre-market. Um, a lot of people here, let me, well, never mind. Um, a lot, you know, was fading in pre-market. A lot of people were counting this one out as well. A lot of people were saying, wow, this is a, a higher float stock. You know, it was easier to borrow as well. Um, you know, we started churning, we started doing a lot of volume, and a lot of people were counting this one out, saying, you know what, it's not going to work. It's, even the chat room pumper didn't even want to touch this one, but, you know, we started grinding lower, and then we started kind of grind, grinding higher. I took some on the dip here. I thought this might go higher, but it was kind of a bit of an impatient trade. Um, I was just really just risking a little bit under 3.8 for this one as well. Um, this one, AVCT, um, you know, another one of these kind of traps. The reason I just... I really, like, a lot of people are going to be like, how'd you predict that move? How'd you predict that move? I mean, there's really not a way that you can predict moves like this. The reason is because I, when I got into 1015, I was expecting kind of like a stuff to VWAP, and I wanted to see how it reacted around VWAP. This is, again, a higher low. This is strong off the lows. These ones were kind of weak. They ended up, you know, pulling back. They tried to go higher, couldn't, tried to go higher, couldn't. I waited for it to kind of start ramping up and people to start buying it again. Um... And, you know, I just, yeah, yeah, so I just let her, let her kind of come. So basically all I just saw is like, you know, high or low. I just liked, you know, the chart. I liked the way that it was holding and, you know, that's about it. You know, it's really not that complicated. Like if you look here, I just bought it kind of on a higher low. I, I let the stock show me where it wants to go. You know, here again, higher low. I let the stock tell me it wants to go higher. I waited for a dip and I ended up selling here as well. You know, I bought a, I bought a kind of dip, sold into. Here as well, I waited for, for it to grind higher. I wasn't trying to predict a bottom. I just let it kind of bottom out and come up. You know, here too, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not buying on, on you know, just some hero. I'm not buying in here either. But I mean, I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm just, I'm just taking a higher low as it comes to me and taking the trade. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap and for sure. Uh, let me know if you guys need anything, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.